Okay, it's been a little while since I made a video, but um, this is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to uh, show off from my last video. I was really thinking about the construction, and I wanted to kind of take this out of the equation if this had a negative effect or not, and not drive myself continuously nuts. So, my 3D printer has been um, quite busy, and I've been printing a few different versions and a few iterations. Um, so far, I've settled on um, this guy. Um, kind of made a setup that I can wind uh, counterclockwise and clockwise. Have an L1 coil. It's kind of fixed in this configuration, though I'm really going to print. Um, you can see that hole in the center. Um, something I can use more as a sliding coil. I did print this version as well um, to kind of give me, let's say, a little bit higher Q version of the coil. Um, but this one's a little harder to wind and make sure it stays stable. Um, and also between the two coils, I see a little more difference in inductance. These guys are, are nearly spot on. Leaving the leads long at the moment, give myself opportunity to trim, but I definitely wanted to get something a little bit closer quality to these guys. And um, these are actually, you can tell these are wound on a you know, professional jig and a spool. <clears throat> these guys I kind of hand wound, but I actually think it turned out not too bad. So I'm still going to follow this circuit here uh, to start with and then start going through all, a lot of different configurations. And um, nothing special, I will run it. And the resonant frequency of this guy is a little bit closer to 3.1 megahertz. Um, so I'm hitting it at the, the half harmonic now. I'm running at 400 hertz um, output on the output transformer. Um, there's kind of what the waveforms look like. You can zoom in. Still feels very uh, uh, not like anything special is going on. Like I'm definitely doing the electron cycling. Um, tough to tell, obviously, with the uh, just the brightness. Um, I think nothing special there. Um, but when I do uh, right now this is a 100 ohm resistor. When I do lower it to 10 and make the connection, you can see it does actually get a little bit brighter. So I think playing around with these ground shunts is probably still going to be something that I look to do in the future. And here, if I, if I take the 10 ohm off and I add the 10 ohm back on, you can see things change, change a little bit. So I just want to give an update. Um, on the construction, maybe if I end up with something that I actually like uh, 3D printing wise, um, I'll put this up on some website somewhere. I've made some different collars and different fixtures so I can do um, set it up in different arrangements. Uh, but so far it's actually turned out pretty well and uh, this is what I'm going to do with the experiments now moving forward. So thanks for your time. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.